right. Yeah. Recent vinyl finds number six. And these are literal finds. Um, <clears throat> I found most of these records sitting on the street full free. Um, I think people in the VC are going to get like some weird impression about New York. Uh, ones that don't live in New York. That there's like just free records just floating in the street. Uh, sometimes there is, but anyway, in the background, <clears throat> we're listening to a record that I actually did not, I paid for this, a buck. It's uh, My Life in the Bush of Ghosts, Brian Eno and David Byrne. I feel like I have this already, but I was in a thrift store, and, you know, I didn't want to, like, pass it up. Um, if I have it, I guess I'll have a second copy, and I could sell it or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so this is one that I actually purchased. Um, and then, uh, you know, going from that store that only had one record, you know how you get like a fiend and you're like, no, no, there has to be more records. So the woman who was in that store sent me on some goose chase down Court Street in Brooklyn to go to another junk shop that had lots of records, but nothing. Like, tons of records, boxes of overflowing 45s that I didn't feel like looking through because they were just loose. And lots of 12s, but just nothing. On the way down, past that store, I found a record store that's new. There's all new record stores opening up in uh, New York, which is great. Um, boutique -y, though. And there's this record store that was called Black Gold. And uh, here's the bag. And um, they take their logo from Father Yod, I believe. And uh, they sell records, coffee, and antiques. And so uh, my girlfriend looked at the antiques and smelled the coffee. And I picked out records. And first thing I picked out, it, they had mostly indie stuff that I didn't even recognize. Like, what is this? Like, I felt old, you know? But I uh, recognized my friend's band, D. Charles Spear and the Helix. So a friend of mine, Dave Shuford, uh, putting out this kind of... I don't even know why. Country-ish shit. And, uh, you know, I figured I'd, you know, uh, support the cause and pick it up. I actually want to pick up Dave Shuford's solo record where he plays Bazooki. Anyway, uh, and then I only got one other record in that store that actually my girlfriend picked out because could not resist the title of this one. Sexy Prison, Italians Who Just Saw Rocky. Um, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. And this is kind of like, I don't know, they use like digital drums and it's kind of like hardcore and it's kind of wacky and I mean, I, I strictly just bought this because of the title. I couldn't pass that up. Um, so, yeah. Um, if anybody knows anything about Sexy Prison, let me know because I certainly don't. But I like what, I hear, what I'm hearing, and, uh, you know, the title does it justice. Now, we move on to all these records that I found walking from that record store in Brooklyn. Two crates of records just being given away. So, right off the bat, <clears throat> uh, The Reverbs, The Happy Forest don't know anything about this on Metro America 1984 Reptile Gardens um, yeah I uh, only heard a little bit of this so far and it sounds kind of like Echo and the Bunnymen ish I guess uh, we'll have to check this out uh, if anybody knows anything about the reverbs let me know I have to look it up Horse Lips The Man Who Built America it was free so I took a chance, but this is kind of crap. 80s sounding, uh, 1979, yeah, meh. Ah, the Wayne Johnson Trio. This I only listened to briefly at a distance, Grasshopper. It sounds like Fusion, and it's on ITI Records, and uh... I don't know, looks kind of cool. Looks like there might be something on this. 
Um, yeah. All songs composed by Wayne Johnson. Those lads on the back. Alright. Outlaws. Uh, Gatefold. What is this? The Outlaws. I think it's just self-titled. Na -na. 70s rock, 1975 Arista. You know, the Outlaws. I don't know. Could be good. Could go with like that Lee Michaels that I uh, bought. I like that kind of stuff. So yeah, for free. You know, cannot beat it. Uh, this, an Ace album. This is, I don't know what these guys are called. This is the sleeve. Five a side. Five a side. Ace. I have no idea. No idea what this is. But it was free. Sniffing about. Rock and roll runaway. How long? No idea. I'll, I guess I'll find out. Anybody know anything about an Ace album? Uh, Fine Young Cannibals. I don't think this is the one that has the hit, but again, for free on IRS, you cannot pass it up. Dr. Hook, don't know anything about this, again, probably 70 sounding on Capitol. Uh, Elliot Carter, Variations for Orchestra, this looks like classical. Um, again, it was free, you know, you never know. Come on, you! Yeah. Uh, the Bachelors! Hits of the 60s. Uh, Janiseean! There was a lot of Janiseean. I just took this one because I think I remember this one being uh, one that was sort of sought after or talked about. I don't know. But it's on Polydor, so look forward to checking that out. Greg Kin, Greg Ginn, Greg Kin, not Greg Ginn. Uh, I, I recognize this guy's name from something. Was this guy in another group? 1976, Rye Boy Music? I don't know. This is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anybody know anything about this? Uh, Leon Redbone. For fans of all destroyed cover, but for fans of uh, Mr. Belvedere, you know, Leon Redbone, you know, I kind of like his voice. Glenn Yarborough, Yarborough, um, on Dynagroove or whatever, RCA Victor, for Emily, whenever I may find her. I don't know. I haven't listened to this yet. It looked like it might be cool, but I have no idea. The Fabulous Thunderbirds. Eleven great songs recorded in May 1979. And finally, something that I think is like crazy looking. Bobby Darren sings Dr. Doolittle. Is this like Bobby Darren's like wacky psychedelic record? It's uh I think it's from some it's from the seventies, I think. I don't know. Anyhow, all free. There you have it. Recent vinyl finds. Number six. Free records in New York City. Peace.